Welcome back to the Sith Inquisitor Healing Guide. This is going to be a direct follow-up to the Starter Guide, uh, but I'm going to go a lot more in-depth into the rotation that you're going to be using on the main tank and how to keep the, the silly DPS up when they do stupid things like hitting targets that they should not hit. Ugh, don't we all hate that as healers? Jesus. Uh, I go over roughly what I think about the three healing specs because they do mirror onto the Republic side. Um, to a degree. They're not 100% mirror, but they, they're pretty close. Uh, I will do all six healing classes eventually. Um, but it takes a little bit of time. This game, it takes a long time to level. Uh, well, it doesn't take a long time to level up to level 40, but 40 to 50 is quite significantly long. <laughs> I'd say that because I've been level 40 since Monday night, I think. I only played a little bit last night because I was very tired. Uh, back to work and all that after New Year's. <laughs> but um, what I wanted to go over was the uh, abilities and the rotation that you're going to put in the main tank. Now this is our victim, I mean our helpful person here, the salvager. He's going to be our main tank. This can be the DPS, the great DPS that sits next to him. Um, the main thing from last time is we have revivication now, which is our healing spell. Um, it's our AoE healing spell, it's the only one we get and it's really good. It's really, really good. So long as people stay still. <laughs> it's not very good if they're running around all over the place because it doesn't benefit them at all. Um, I'll show it in action. I'll put it up now. And then you'll see. As long as they stay in the circle, they get a phenomenal amount of healing. And not only is it healing them, every single tick of that can crit. It's not guaranteed crit, but as you can see, it can crit. Uh, which means it can keep your DPS alive really, really easily. I just did Colocoid at the end boss. And uh, uh, spoilers if you've not done Colocoid. But at the end, you're in like an arena. Kind of like at the end of Attack of the Clones. And you're attacking them kind of beast things. And you're fighting them. Uh, and the last boss, uh, you drop the last boss. Well, you drop the last beast and then you turn around and like a mechanical version of that. And you're fighting that, and he puts fire on the floor quite a lot. And the DPS being the DPS, oh my god, I must just hit boss, can't look around. They start hitting the boss, and they don't see the stuff on the floor. Now, I could be a cruel bastard and let them die, but hey, that could drop the chance of his completing the, completing the flashpoint. And I want to finish and get rid of these DPS, so uh, we'll keep them alive for now. And uh, revivification pretty much kept kept them alive all the way through. Uh, you can pretty much chain it to the floor constantly, bar a few seconds, uh, because it's on a 15 second cooldown, and it's only on the floor for 10 seconds. So you got that five seconds where they're not going to get any healing unless you directly heal them with any of your abil other abilities but uh, you'll find you'll be stuck on the tank quite a bit so we use salvage as a tank and we'll do it like I normally do before they run in I throw a shield on him uh, shield will drop pretty quick because hey a tank's job is tech damage and that shield doesn't doesn't absorb anything really it absorbs like a peanut or something uh, but when the shield drops uh, the first ability you should always use is Resurgence. Whenever it's off cooldown, which is quite a lot, because it's not on a very f uh, long cooldown, you should always use Resurgence because it buffs all your other healing spells. I'll just go over what it does. Um, for a time, for a limited time, well, you'll get force bending for 10 seconds. And what it will do is it will increase the crit chance of Innovate by 25%, which is good because it's a channel spell and each tick can crit. Uh, so that's always good to get an improvement that. It will reduce the force cost of Dark Heal down to about 25 force, so it halves it pretty much by 50%. Uh, and then Dark Infusion, which is your biggest spell, but obviously your longest cast time at 2.47 seconds, that's only because of haste, it's normally 2.5. Um, it brings that down to 1.5 so uh, it makes your big heal a quick heal now granted it is still an expensive heal at 55 force and the whole point is we're trying to be effective in our healing so we don't use a lot of force uh, but there is a talent that helps us out it's called force surge up here uh, you're gonna take it anyway you'd be stupid not to as it's your main 
that's your main ability to get force back and what it does is this consumption here is essentially a warlock's life tap uh, it, it uh, takes life gives you force back uh, but not only does it do that it gives you a debuff here consumption debuff which um, gives you a force regeneration rate decreased by 25% and if you spam that to get force back it will stack four times and like literally stop your force from regenerating for 10 seconds completely stop it from regenerating and you don't want to do that now what this ability here does is it takes away all the negative effects of consumption so basically all it does is give you force back it doesn't take any health and it doesn't give you a debuff now the only catch is you have to use innovate to get it to proc and it will only proc from a crit on innovate now you're saying well shit I haven't got a lot of crit now don't forget resurgence gives you 25% extra crit on this so 25% extra chance so the chances are it will crit when you use it if not the first time always on the second time I'll just show you look we'll put resurgence up and we'll do it and it crit instantly straight off the go there look it's called force surge and you can just press force surge to get your force back uh, there's no cooldown on that the only cooldown is on innovate so they're your two main abilities that you want to be spamming on the main tank all the time you want to throw that up and then throw down innovate as well uh, it's up again already no, but don't forget on the tail end of using innovate you can squeeze another one off of that force bending by being quick off the mark so just before the end of it pick dark heal instead still 1.5 seconds on the cast time so you still gain the benefit of force bending and that's that exploit I was explaining in the video uh, in the video previously to this is force bending should only give you one charge basically you should only be able to use one ability but because innovate is a channeled spell the global cooldown finishes before the spell does letting you switch to another spell before force bending falls off so you gain the benefit now another good thing to do the thing that I use is revivication now I've got it obviously couldn't use it before or don't know how I managed before especially in foundry Jesus um, it does a hell of a lot of healing like a ridiculous amount of healing and resurgence re drops a force from 100 to 70 so if you use that on the main thing start channeling and then just get that up and use it just before the end now I clicked it then, I, I'm not a clicker, I don't click I only click on the raid frames I'm, I'm done with the binds, Q, E, Shift Q, Shift E, F, Shift F you Shift F, that's purge which heals and I use 3 for my uh, AoE heal uh, now I only use three because usually my mouse button isn't used, but I use that as my shield. So my mouse button five, a shield. It's just the way I set it up. You guys will set it up, whichever way you set it up. Now the only reason I left these two down here is because a my shock stuns people, uh, weak and standard target stun them on the spot, which can be handy on ads if they're weak or standard. And this one is an interrupt, so I can always interrupt the boss if I need to. Uh, so it's important to be able to have the abilities to hand. Um, that is all I wanted to kind of cover, but I'll show you. I'll do the rotation for a while, and you'll see the aim is to keep your force probably above 60%. If you can keep it above 60%, you have that 60% as a oh shit, shit's just going to shit I need to use like three dark healers on the bounce instantly which will drain quite a lot of force I'll show you just using three without anything else will start draining your force quite uh, quite a lot now you see that's not a lot as you can see but you add in that you're already doing this rotation and then you're throwing this down as well and then oh shit I need to use some of this and look you're down to the fifties already it doesn't take long uh, let me just get some force back. Excuse me, I'm going to cough in a second. I'll just mute the mic while I cough. <laughs> 